let's see today's lovely rainbow sandwich recipe. So now I'm going to start by making the green layer, which is just a simple green coconut chutney. So I've taken about half a cup of freshly uh, grated coconut, a quarter cup of fresh coriander, which is to be washed really well. Then about two light green chilies, which are chopped really fine, two cloves of garlic chopped fine. This is one inch of ginger grated, uh, the juice of lemon, uh, half a lemon, you know, about maybe uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice, depending on how much you like it. And uh, one fourth teaspoon of sugar and salt to taste. So I'm just going to add the coconut, the coriander, the green chilies, the ginger, the garlic, the salt, the sugar, the lemon juice to my mixer. I'm using the small mixer pot, which is generally used for, for you know, chutneys. And uh, I'm also going to add about two to three ta tablespoons of water. And we're just going to grind this to a nice smooth paste. Now the sugar and the lemon juice really elevate the taste of this beautiful chutney. And this chutney can be used, you know, even with idlis, dosas, or even if you have making upma, just a little at the side really, you know, it brings out the taste of the upma also. So this chutney is really, really delicious. So now I'm just going to grind this with a little bit of water. And uh, we're going to grind it to a nice smooth paste. And now you can see the chutney is nicely ground and I'm going to transfer this to the to a glass container uh, you know that way and keep it in my chiller tray of the refrigerator that way it remains nice and fresh for about two to three days maximum. Uh, this coconut chutney generally try to use it up within you know two days or three days and look at the color it's so beautiful. So this will be our green layer for our rainbow sandwich. So now uh, after our green chutney is done we're going to move on to the pink layer. So for that, I've just taken about one fourth cup of grated cheese, regular processed cheese. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter, which is at room temperature. Now I'm going to mix the butter and the cheese really well together. Then I'm going to add a few drops of, you know, food color, pink food color. Now you can also uh, alternatively use a little bit of beetroot juice, you know, just boil the beetroots and uh, extract the juice. I mean, the color, you can add that if you want to go natural. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, keep it simple. And so I just added a few drops of pink food color and mix it really well. And you know, get this lovely bright pink color. So that will be uh, a pink layer for the pink layer of the rainbow sandwich. And then for the yellow layer, I'm just going to add some mayonnaise about four to five tablespoons of mayonnaise and to that I'm just going to add some mustard sauce and mix the two together. Now if you don't have mustard sauce you can have you have yellow food color you can you know go with that too. I mean you can just be creative about the three layers. I just thought I'd pop in and let you know about my Amazon storefront. Go and check it out. The link is down in the description box below. It's products that I generally buy on Amazon or I would recommend with regard to best prices and good quality. So go and check out the link. So now that we have all our chutneys and three, uh, you know, colored chutneys ready, I'm just going to take four slices of bread. Now try to use the sandwich bread because, you know, it's uh, easier to work with. It's thicker and it's a little, you know, wider than the you know regular uh, bread slices. So I'm using this white sandwich bread and I'm just going to cut off the edges because we want to see the colors of these layers. If you keep the sides on, you know, you will not get that effect. So just cut about four slices for uh, four small sandwiches. Now for the first layer, I'm going to go with the pink color and apply a nice generous thick layer because it, you know, it has to be seen. The color needs to be seen. So this is a nice stiffen item for kids or even, you know, if you're having a kid's party or even as a starter and you can get creative. Like I said, you can add, you know, whatever colors you want. You can add uh, natural colors from veggies. Like if you want to go, you know, with some green, add more fresh green, you can add some parlor leaves. So you can get creative with this rainbow sandwich. But I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. And... Uh, so, like I said, just apply a nice, generous layer. 
because when you cut the sandwich you need to see all the three colors really distinctly so we're done with our pink layer so that will be the first layer at the bottom then we're going to add the green chutney so one tip i'd like to give you here is try to keep the green chutney as fresh as possible so make it you know on the day you're going to make these rainbow sandwiches because this green chutney does tend to uh, stiffen up a bit and it you know the, the taste changes a little because after all it's coconut and co coconut has a very uh, you know short shelf life so whenever you're making this sandwich try to make the, the three layers you know on the same day that you're making the sandwiches that way it's easier to spread the chutney and uh, you know the freshness of the chutney also makes a lot of difference so now i'm just going to place the green layer on top of the pink layer and then i just put the yellow layer on top and last i'm going to put this plain slice of bread on the top and this is how it's going to look so you can distinctly see the three layers and then when i cut it up like this you're going to see uh, you know distinctly the pink layer the green layer and the yellow layer and then I'm going to cut it again into small pieces like this. So you have like out of one, uh, out of four slices, you get these four mini uh, rainbow sandwiches. They look delicious and friends, believe me, they taste even more delicious. So do give this a try and let me know in the comment section how you like these rainbow sandwiches. Also friends, do go and check out my blog. I will leave a link to that as well as the Amazon store also. So thank you for watching guys. today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.